and welcome to the Bryan Board of Public Affairs board meeting for December 15th, 2015. First thing on our agenda is to approve the minutes of the December 1st meeting. Anyone have a chance to review that? Yeah, and I didn't see anything needing changed, and I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. Karen? Yes. Dick? Yes. Bonnie? Yes. Jim? Yes. Al? Yes. Number two is a hearing of public concerns. Seeing none, we'll move on. Number three, the clerk treasurer's report. The board's been presented with the clerk treasurer's report for the month of November 30th, 2015. I'll move. Second. Al? Yes. Jim? Yes. Bonnie? Yes. Karen? Yes. Dick? Yes. So the fund balance was work done. Yes, they do. Number four, a resolution authorizing an easement for farming purposes in Paulding County. Okay, this will be resolution number 36, 2015. It's a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor to grant the easement for the purpose of access between farming parcels along the channel of Six Mile Creek in Paulding County for farming purposes to Mr. Daniel Peace and Mr. Roger Peace, or excuse me, Roger W. Peace, and declare an emergency. Um, Nate and Rhonda actually have been working on this agreement for almost a year now, and it's <laughs> and it started off that uh, the piece, uh, the pieces, actually contacted us and uh, in the process of working on the estate, I believe, of their parents, or their, their mom or dad, um, found that they did they needed an easement across this culvert tile that we own. And this is the flood zone, and it's quite a ways off the river. So this is a flood area that we have as a city, which is backwater for the, jam, the dam for generation purposes. So when they first contacted us, um, Nate and his staff went out there and took a look at it and began working on the easement. And it's pretty, as you can see on the plat survey, there's quite a bit of uh, points called out. It has taken the full year to get those points called out because we wanted to make sure it was dialed down to exactly what we were going to get permission to do. So there was a lot of back and forth between their attorney and Nate and Rhonda. Um, this final one was actually a supply to Nate. He went through and uh, entered all the data into AutoCAD because this sort of mirrored what he provided them to draw it out to make sure it fit exactly what we wanted. And then we had Rhonda go through the language for to make sure that was correct and the two together agree that this is where we should be. Now on our end, this part, this culvert tile, 68 inch plus steel culvert tile, I mean, it, it would cost it a lot of money to replace it, has been there for years. This is just cleaning up loose ends. In their agreement with us, they're responsible to take care of the culvert tile. They cannot downsize the culvert tile. You know, it's, and this carries on from this point on. So you give the easement today, these gentlemen and their heirs or whoever they sell it to carry the easement with them. So mm -hmm. it's a permanent easement. It's a permanent easement. Mm -hmm. I myself would recommend, if you would, you know, is that on this for the mayor. Is that on the 691 elevation or 692? 690, help me out here. 692 is a flood zone area. Okay. And again, if, if you pull up on the map and look at it, you're, you're going to go, wow, why are we so far away from the river? It's that whole flood zone that falls into that elevation right. that we own as a right. city. Mm -hmm. um, and they have no other way to access their one field if we don't provide this to them, yeah. which we can't do that. Right? No. We did have to provide this to council, which was presented at the last meeting and was approved. We have the certified ordinance here for you, as well as the original easement. So that's already in the event that you approve. Questions or comments? Also moved. Yeah. Second. Al? Yes. Dick? Yes. Bonnie? Yes. Jim? Yes. Karen? Yes. What number was that resolution? 36. Thank you. Number five. Okay. Resolution authorizing the salary of the Bryan City Attorney. Okay, this is resolution number 37. It's a resolution authorizing the salary of the Bryan City Attorney and repealing any portion of prior resolutions inconsistent therewith and declare an emergency. Um, as we always do, this is housekeeping every year. Uh, Rhonda is a contract employee with us. 
uh, January 1, December 31st. So we're at that point now where we need to renew our contract, if that's the wish of the board. I hope it is. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> um, for the 2016 calendar year, um, we utilize Rhonda a lot, uh, and for what we, you know, we're we're doing with her, she's a steal. So I would recommend that we uh, renew that with Rhonda. I'll make a motion we renew. Second. Jim. Yes. Al. Yes. Bonnie. Yes. Karen. Yes. Dick. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, you get to have one more year of us. <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Number six, a request to put Justin Roof on regular employment status. Okay, um, Justin goes by JJ, so I will probably bounce back and forth, so I apologize uh, for the slang. So we're requesting uh, Justin be moved to prob from probationary to regular employment status. Um, this is sort of a hiccup on my end. I had it on my calendar. We were supposed to remove Justin about five months ago. And honestly, I don't know why I hit delete when it flagged me. Um, and Justin is one of those kind of employees, as you can see, based on what I recommended. He didn't question it, didn't complain. Um, we're at that threshold now where he is eligible to be the next pay grade because of his time of service and completion of his school and all these things. So I can't do it until we bring him off probation. So what you have here is a combination of both. We're taking him off probation. Normally we don't give dollar increases or any kind of money increases um, when they come off probation. This happens to be one of those out of all situations. JJ's going on call the first of the year. He is one of those that we started out as a green lineman and brought him up through. He is a fantastic lineman. He is that group of workers are our next, those are our next leaders here at the utility. And uh, by far, and it, it, it makes all of us older ones that used to be linemen sound terrible, by far this group is hands and they're way above us. Just phenomenal employees. So I would recommend um, and apologize uh, that we correct, <laughs> get, take him off probation and then allow that transition to where he's supposed so to be. So the oversight didn't cause him any financial issues? No. See, um, by the contract, he would have came off probation six months ago, okay. and we would continue the evaluation period of him because it's, you have to be under that position for one year showing that you can do these skill sets. At that time, by the contract, he would have been eligible for that slide over in the pay grade. Okay. So he's not eligible until January 1st anyway, so we're cleaning this up now to be take effect in January. Okay. So, yeah, we did. Luckily, I did not hurt him financially. <laughs> I'm sure he would have caught that. Yeah, hopefully he would have said something <laughs> then, you know? Yeah. I entertain a motion. Go ahead, Karen. I will make a motion to take Justin Rupp off probation. Put him on regular employment status. Second. Karen? Yes. Dick? Yes. Bonnie? Yes. Jim? Yes. Al? Yes. Number seven, a request to reclassify electric department employees. Okay, so we have two employees here that we're going to discuss. We'll start with one, clean that business up, and then we'll jump into the other. Um, so we'll go from there. So our first one is going to be Brad Plummer. Uh, we have respectfully request to reclassify Brad Plummer <coughs> from line worker two to a probationary line worker three. Uh, Brad currently performs all the essential duties of that line worker three position. Uh, in addition, he's been in the call rotation for over a year, managed several projects for the department. He's also enrolled right now, currently, in the Northwest Lyman's College substation program. So he's already completed the line workers program, which is a four-year program, and he took it upon himself to further his career by going into the substation side. If you remember, Brad was an employee of a municipality north of us and was a very senior level employee, um, basically the superintendent level. And when he came to the city of Bryan, um, we wanted a, the ability to evaluate his skill sets because we're a little bit larger than that municipality. And Brad felt it was his best interest to downgrade his position so that he could see how we do things and see where his skill sets sit and fall versus what we would require of what we call a class three. Um, 
He then retook the classes that he already had because he wanted to show that he was on the same page as all the team members that he's working with. So now we're at this point where he is able to be moved to a level three. He's doing the work of it. Um, he's right where we want him to be. In fact, he's a good employee, good steal for us. So I would re respectfully request that we move him to probationary three, if that's your wish. So moved. Second. Al? Yes. Jim? Yes. Bonnie? Yes. Karen? Yes. Dick? <coughs> okay. The second employee in that department it would be Jay Smith. Um, we respectfully request to reclassify Jay Smith from meter technician one to probationary meter technician two. Uh, Jay has completed his module one of the Northwest Lyman's College meter technician certification program and is enrolled in module two. So he's completed one, he's already in two. Jay assists electric department distribution crews and service crews on a weekly basis. We've really integrated him into the outside line work world as well as metering. Um, also, Jay's diverse knowledge and customer service skills make him very valuable in that spot. If you remember, Jay was one of our laborers slash meter readers for, oh my gosh, probably 12 years plus. He's got a great relationship with the clerk's office, and he is really the epitome of customer service when it comes to our, our needs. Um, so, with that, Jay has completed all the necessary steps. He has the experience and the skill set. He is our, our, our leader and trainer of that metering staff. Um, I would respectfully request that we reclassify him to probationary meter tech two. Make motion that we move him up. Second. Dick? Yes. Karen? Yes. Bonnie? Yes. <coughs> Jim? Yes. Al? Yes. Plus he's a good <laughs> <laughs> And I'll throw that, yeah, he's a great cook. <laughs> he's our cook when we do the uh, public power day and employee lunch and so we, yeah, we can't lose that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number eight, affect semi-monthly disbursements. I'll make a motion to pay the bill. Second. Jen? Yes. Dick? Yes. Bonnie? Yes. Karen? Yes. Al? Yes. Yes. And number nine, comments from BPA and staff. Director? Yeah, this, uh, this is not actually the last meeting of the year for all of us, December 31st at noon in my office is, but this is the meeting that I really wanted to call out and bring to attention and, and thank two board members. I have one that is retiring and I have one that may uh, rerun in the future. So I want to sort of break down where they've been and where they came from us. Um, so Al, the first thing I want to talk to you about is the plant that's sitting over there that's got your name on it, your daughter sent that and she wanted what? to let you know how proud she is and <laughs> apologizes for not being here, but uh, she wanted to, to, to show her appreciation for what you've done. Oh. So let's talk about Mr. Horn just a little bit. I'm going to go through some highlights here over the years, okay? This is not everything that Al has been involved with when it comes to utility. The list was rather extensive and I thought, you know, I talk a lot, but I'm not going to talk that much. We're going to cut this thing down, okay? So Al Horn's first term in office began July 2004 when he filled the seat that was vacated by Bob Hoffman, who passed away. In 2004, Al was part of the group that petitioned for sole source aquifer designation, which was newly named Mishandoa Glacial Aqua Outwash Aquifer. He also was part of the group that completed a 50-acre expansion of the original Bryan Industrial Park, okay? In 2005, Al was part of the group that approved 528 uh, insulators to be changed out on the Marcus Corridor. That was a rather large project. Completed the downtown lighting project, which is the whole beautification of downtown. That happened during that 2005 year. And was the first full year, it was part of this, that uh, we had full operating of the Auglaise Hydro Plant at full capacity with everything that we had available to run. Also, Al was part of the group that started the Good Neighbors Fund, which helps those in need this time of year. So that was in 2005. 2006, um, Al, as a board member, helped us celebrate uh, 100 years of the Board of Public Affairs and Public Power. You have to be sure to. Yep, there we go. <laughs> funded, helped funded a rate stabilization plan to avoid a huge rate increase of approximately 10%. So worked with Lori and everybody to make sure that, that uh, rate levelization made sense. And he commissioned, was part of the commissioning group of the Cherry Street substation, which was built then. In 2007, he helped establish, he was one of the board members that helped establish the goal of 20% renewables by 2015, 
and we will have met our 20 percent purchase land for a new well field west of town which is also mm -hmm. your solar field and then hired new communication superintendent joe farrell and then filed the sole source aquifer petition so that year was rather busy al was a busy man in 2008 um, the hospital fiber was a project of no very notable diversifying really digging in and helping diversify the power supply contracts that we have and that was our first official year that we received our rp3 designation and we've had since i believe twice since then received it and we are knock on wood going to hear it back soon if we did receive that again 2000, so that was 2008 and 2009. I was part of the voltage conversion from 4160 to 12470. That was a labor of love for the utility. That was a 10 year project that took almost 15 to 20 years. So you actually got to see the end of that happen. Um, was part of the group that decided and approved the building of the Bechtel Switchyard, which is our back mm -hmm. tie to Tilly Edison, and was part of the group that helped launch digital cable TV in Bryan. Okay, for that, for that's BMU. Now, I'm going to combine Al and Bonnie at the same time now. So from 2012 to current, 2015, Al and Bonnie together with other board members um, in 2012 commissioned the Bryan Solar Field, um, authorized purchase and property on Edgerton Street, and allowed us to get into what we call Cooperative Response Center, which is CRC, which is our call center that we have all our customers that call in after hours that funnels through. Um, even though that was a, a, a trying time when we first took that over and we took those jobs at the power plant and reduced them, that has been a wonderful program for us. I mean, it's, 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 it's worth every dime. In 2013, both Bonnie and Al were involved with retirement and appointment of the new director, celebrated All Blaze's hydroelectric 100-year celebration, and authorized a continued bandwidth and adding more digital programming as long as it was economically feasible. So you guys are part of that group. In 2014, those certain board members also authorized the purchase of the new industrial park, which is outside of town over here, and the, the large finishing of the Norlake Place Underground project. That was a large project. Believe it or not, that's a very capital-intensive project you guys were involved with. And this 2015 year, um, you authorized the electric system study. Unfortunately, the results of that are going to be provided after this year in 2016. So uh, watch your TVs. <laughs> updated kept the ball rolling right <laughs> keep yeah you kept it rolling and we're going to keep you informed you just got to come in and hang out with us at board meetings how's that <laughs> um also you two were very active and and really helped us get this wellhead protection plan going again um that's something that had set on the table a while and we had some push from the board and some belief and supported us and we moved on with it and you're going to hang your head on this i hope was part of the team that rebuilt gt2 Okay, so that was a very large capital project that nobody's going to forget about. Okay, mm -hmm. so for myself as a director, I want to tell you how much I appreciate you guys as being board members working with me the way you have. Um, I know at times I, um, for Al, at times I probably looked at him more as the, uh, the fatherly type grandfather figure. If I didn't hear from him, I was on the phone calling him to see where he was at. Um, and I do apologize, it's just nature of the beast. And Bonnie for taking a vested interest into the into this utility and meeting with all the department heads and actually being very involved. So I, on behalf of all our employees, want to thank you. Wish you luck in retirement. Stay stay in tune with us. And for Bonnie, whatever you choose in the future, we'll support you either way. Thank so. you, Mayor. Well, I, I too. Come on for you. And Thank you for what you've done for the city. Uh, we're at that uh, month where we did not have a council meeting last night. Our regular council meeting will be next Monday night, which is the, uh, because of the calendar switch and so forth. And then uh, actually we have a special council meeting tomorrow at, at uh, 4 o'clock, and that's an executive session for review of our wastewater project that we're working on and, and trying to get prices and throw that into the budget. Then on the 21st at our regular council meeting, we're going to uh, present the budget, your budget and our budget, to council and hopefully get approval for that. And then on the 29th at noon, we have our final meeting of the year uh, with the uh, council. And at that time, we'll uh, probably hire a city attorney. Why not? We got one. Yeah, so, like, so, okay. so, <laughs> <not there. laughs> so we have one. So that's kind of where we're at at this time. Wish you.
Oh, is, Merry Christmas. The meeting on the 21st, is that meeting during the daytime or in the evening? That's at 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock? Yeah. Okay. And the 29th is noon. But we're going to do a budget on the 21st. Yep. Okay. Rhonda, Bonnie and Al, thank you for your service and everything you've done and working with me as well. Appreciate it. Thank you. Pardon me. Laura, I'd like to extend my appreciation of you guys as well. It's been a pleasure working under you. Um, you were part of the committee that hired me. I think I was one of your first hires um, as, a, as a member of the city. And Bonnie, I'm going to miss your energy. You bring a lot of energy to everything you do. So I'm going to miss you both. Okay, anyone out there? Okay, Al? Um, I've been involved in a lot of things. <laughs> um, I, I don't know how I got involved, but I think it was who Bill Ford and uh, Hank Ford and Howie Winslow. I used to live in Pulaski Township, and that's when he, he wanted to put a swimming pool for the East End kids, but we had to get that into the city of Bryan. I was a foot soldier just going out passing petitions and working. That was a major project. A lot of opposition, but it was the best thing for him. Because the city ended right there. And uh, then I remember levies getting money for the levy for the school uh, and also for the city. You can't pass anything without getting some capital. And I happen to know the key people, <laughs> like George Isaac and Hester, and where we could get some bucks. And um, that was a great thing. And uh, I, it, it's, it's been good to work for the city. And I've gone to a lot of council meetings, even before I was on the ward here, I used to go. But I got to attribute a lot to my wife and daughter. They made sure I got there. I remember hiring them. I do miss. That's it. I do miss my wife. Yeah. And I'd just like to thank you for your service, Al, Bonnie. Both been an asset not only to the board, but to the city of Bryan. I wish you the best. I'm going to miss you both. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate it if you come back. <laughs> <laughs> I know my friend is going to retire, but I wish you the best in life, Al. Um, like MacArthur said, the old soldier never died, they fade away. It's BPA well, member just fade away. <laughs> fade away, <laughs> never forgotten. So I wish you both the best. Thank you. Thank you. And the same thing from me to both of you. You'll both be missed highly. I've learned a lot from you both. And um, I wish you the best. Happy holidays to everyone, too. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been great working on the board with everyone that's here, too. Should have been. Yeah, same here. Uh, you know, I'm going to miss both of you. I've learned a lot from both of you. Um, I've called both of you on different different occasions to help clarify things for me that I wasn't familiar with. I mean, you've kind of helped me through the last couple of years. So, yeah, I'm going to miss you. I, you know, time marches on, things will continue to go, but uh, yeah, I hope to see you again. And I just want to say that it was an honor to serve the city of Bryan. Um, it's been a real learning experience. I've learned so much. And um, I hope to be able to serve in some capacity again. Thank you. Before we finish the meeting, um, after the meeting, there are some refreshments. So if we want to stick around and talk with Al and reminisce, we're going to do that. So I just want to put that out there. Or if they want to talk, stand around and talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to run. So, I'll run. I'll run. I'll run. <laughs> the campaigning has begun. <laughs> okay, if there's nothing further, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So oh. let Al do it, Al. There you go. Second. Al? Yes. Dick? Yes. Bonnie? Yes. Jim? Yes. Karen? Yes. I'm using this person for a certain point. I'll get this back right